Oh, hey, come check this out. I wanted to show you the new reference sheets that we've created. This is no longer a checklist upload requirement. This is simply a guide for you to know what you may need and where you may find it, the source, where you may find it for the different types of opportunities. So these reference sheets match what's happening in your command checklist. So you can see right now I have a listing opportunity and this is a residential resale and it's used for single family home, townhomes and condos. So as you can see, and you know this from being in command, that you have a listed folder, an under contract folder, and a closed folder. This guide will give you an idea of what to expect when you go into command to upload any documents. So it's going to give you those indicators up front. What we did was we eliminated a lot of the excess stuff that were possible uses to, a link, to streamline it a little bit. And then we've set reminders in this reference sheet. So if you come down here into the conditional items, conditional is a tag word that's used inside command. So you may need to upload an MLS temporary exclusion or a no entry form. You may need to upload, upload your authorized signing documents. You may need to upload comprehensive addenda or riders like your HOA disclosures, your lead-based paint, housing for older persons. So we've given you the guide here, but we don't have the placeholders clogging up the system now. And then there's still a reference here that if you do handle limited service listing, these are the documents you would need. And then on the under contract folder, you'll see the same thing. You have conditional items as needed. And then if you have a buyer with no representation, we've given you an idea of what you will need. Now, the fun part is down here, we have a lot of frequently returned items or frequently asked questions. So we try to tie all that up in here and give you some, um, you know, like reference material just to kind of guide you along. So when you're dealing with uploading your broker relationship disclosure, you'll see that little number one right there it references what it is that we're looking for. We're looking for the single agent with consent or the transaction broker notice, okay? And then in here uh, for seller's property disclosure, there's a number two, if you come down here, it'll tell you what type of property disclosure we're generally looking for. We know not every situation is exactly the same, but these are just guidelines for you and so on. You'll see the numbers correspond. So if you see a number behind an item there, you can just roll down here to see um, what document that might be or how it might be, uh, how what information you might need to get by. Here are the frequently used comprehensive uh, riders that we put in a list just to keep, remind you of what you may need. Maybe you forgot, but you may need to add to your folder. And then this is a little video uh, that I created for to show you how to add, manually add a document to your checklist. When you may, if you don't have a placeholder for it, you'll have to manually add the document in. This walks you right through it. Here are the is the text version of how you do it. And if it's easier for you to watch a video, you can just click this link and it'll take you to that video. The last thing I wanted to point out is this is always going to be very confusing and we understand that. But what we've done is given you signature tips here. So if you have an authorized signer, some sort of entity um, that is buying or selling a property, this will give you an idea of what you may be looking at as far as signatures or what you might need. So we hope that is really helpful. I wanted to show you, now we have one, we have a listing opportunity, residential vacant land reference sheet and a new construction reference sheet. We have all of them in the folders and the groups as far as DocuSign and folders for um, dot loop. If this is a buyer opportunity, I wanted to show you this one also. So the buyer opportunity, again, I grabbed the residential resale. It's used for single family home, townhomes or condos. This is your consultation folder. You know, that's the very first folder in there. Then your under contract folder and your closed folder. One thing I forgot to mention in the listing folder, it's 
uh, to cross the board on all of these reference sheets is we created a form source for you. So like if you're looking at a document and you're not sure where you even find it, we've given you a clue as to where to go looking for it if for some reason you can't find it in your group or your folder. This is a third party. This would be a Florida document. This would be a Keller Williams specific document, something along those lines. So it will give you a source of where you might find that document just to give you a little tip or a heads up. Again, this follows the same path. You can see you have conditional items down here. You may need a condo governance form if you're purchasing a condo or your buyer is purchasing a condo. You may need to have the buyer condo governance form signed. So we've put a reminder down here for you. And then if you have a seller with no representation, there's a mini checklist for you here. And then again, we have tips and tricks down here at the bottom with the same tips. So let us know if these are helpful. We will love your feedback. If there's anything you think we're missing, um, these are great guides. Again, you're not uploading them into command. These are simply here to help know that once you go to upload all of your documents in your under contract folder in your buyer opportunity for a resale, these are the documents you are likely going to need for that file. I hope this is helpful. We're super excited about this. And if you have any questions or any concerns, please email us, give us a phone call. We're happy to answer any of your questions. Have a great day.